The job in can definitely work. There's, there's, there's the least in like we were expecting. You know, I, this, this is this is a pick that can work, and you can be aggressive with it early, and it works well with the uh, level six here for his ear. But I'm very concerned about how we've seen Grizzly constantly be behind the play on enemy junglers. Canyon has been our, he was our number one in POG points because of his dominant performances. He's on the rail that has a lot of agency early. See whether it works out. Viper on the Zyre is a scary prospect as well. The D plus look dominant yesterday. Let's jump onto the rift. The game wants Camille where he goes 0 2, and they still won the game. As Zeka versus Showmaker here in the mid lane. And it feels, it does feel like the more things change, the more they stay the same. This is one of the most common matchups in 2014. An additional amount of Sand Soldier damage. Wind Showmaker is walking forward and trying to set up some of those Comet procs. So, like this choice here, is Canyon's going to invade early. Bit of a yoink there. All the little ones there. Yeah. The thing is, he has prior bot lane, so he's going to get first assistance. I think Grizzly might end up just having to give it up. You can see life is moving, but Viper is not. So, he's just to try and take the Krugs and get what he can. The abuse of early Alistair. We've seen the best teams do it. Get that extra prio, and then you can start taking jungle camps away. Rel so impactful at setting up CC in the early game. Zeri does a lot of damage even at level two, so Lee Sin just not going to be able to hang around. Playing on like this, as it's been going so far, D plus just kind of edging ahead, but not too much action, then I think D plus will be a lot more confident with the outcome. Stay vigilant, yeah. okay? <laughs> Stay, we, okay, we've got a bit of an engage though. As Viper's going to have to flash. All the way oh. in goes Kellen. The ignite is ticking, but it's not going to quite be enough. Thankfully, you know, our pros, they drink their potions to keep themselves alive. But this is actually huge towards the bottom side. But because of that fast buy of the Merc Treads, that money that you're talking about, that gold injection is so important. Zekka looking for an opportunity. Ooh, yeah, Empress Divide is going to come down. There's the flash from Showmaker. The kickback from Grizzly connects the Q, and Showmaker is dead. First blood goes to Grizzly. And finally, it does happen. Finally, they do find that angle. A bit of a caster curse there for me as Showmaker will step too far forward. And now, it's going to be a ton of plate gold going into Zekka here. You don't always get the opportunity to get the kill and the plates here as Canyon's going to try to deny this. He will be unsuccessful, but let's take a look at his positioning here as he steps forward here to clear the wave and is just in range of shuffle. And this is Grizzly, of course, following up. This is his first person view. Flashes for the kick, making sure there's no way Showmaker can get in there. You can see Showmaker with no flash, so scared to step up. Oh, Zenithblade is going to connect. Grizzly is just going to get pounced on, and Showmaker collects it. That's that. Yeah, that's the Drake. And, you know, we, we talked about it. All you need is one pick, and it's over. And they're just too busy trying to handle that bottom wave. And that's the power of Static Shiv. It's not going to offer you a lot in team fights, but every time Death goes down to clash with Viper, he gets wave clear advantage in Hanwha Life. And look to try and get in here for the contest. They do have Magnet Storm back up and available once again. Showmaker towards that top side as Kana has teleported in. Canyon going to collect it very comfortably here as now Life is looking for Death. Grizzly chases after him. There's the flash for the crash down from Canyon. The Q's going to land though, and Grizzly will be able to take down the AD carry. Still, DK, they're going to try and get out of here. The Q is going to miss though from Grizzly, and that might smell, spell his demise. Kana going to dive on top of him. Kingen though getting in amongst it, and Grizzly is staying alive. Another crash down comes in, and now the rest of the Ooh. team is here. The right of the Arcane crashes down, and Grizzly will go, but it's still a one team fight. Here for Hama Life Esports. They don't get the Herald though, which I think is a critical factor. But what they, can they get of the aftermath? Low health bars. They can look for more here. Big wave, Nar. Yeah, Life is going to get underneath this turret. There is the pushback though from Kana. Really beautifully done. Kellen going to flash to try and get on top of Viper, but the Feather Storm is there. Still, Kellen underneath this turret is so close to death, and Zekka is going to be able to lock him down. Hama Life Esports. Huge team fight. Yep. In comes Zekka. He's off a fresh buy as well as King and Nabar are in a great spot. And D-plus not wanting to risk it. Grizzly goes on over to grab this Drake. It's now down to 4,000. Full information now as Canyon dives into the pit, but he's kicked out. The headbutt comes through still. It's not going to stop him from stealing this one away. Let's see whether Canyon can make it out with his life, though, as the right of the Arcane doesn't quite do enough. Deft is ulted, but the rest of Hama Life Esports look just fine as they move further forward. Still. Yeah, um, D plus are going to get information as Deft is now able to move over. The rest of the team kind of scattered to the wind. Canyon will turn off the lights here with his control ward in a great position. He magnet storms over. Can he get the steal is the question. So many are dying as Canyon is untouched. And Deft comes on over. Oh, no. Hanwha Life is 
esports. That was not the play you were looking for. Such a big flub. It's so hard to keep a rel out of the pit. But on top of that, Silver Maker doing a great uh, job. That's right, that's right. And you just see both the Alice and the uh, Lee This is too late. Oh God, you move the back like, hey, we should probably stop them going oh in. Good. Just uh, to get awesome, deleted. Yeah, I, I feel that, like yeah. if you're doing a Baron setup, you don't even want the jungler over the wall. You want to not even let them get that close. And the fact the canyon's able to be there. Yeah, it's almost like a layering of really rough stuff. Grizzly. Speaking of which, Grizzly gonna get stunned up. The chain CC kind of working out as look at these Arcano pulses. There's the right of the Arcane. He's gonna have to move left of the Arc. There it goes. And all the oh. last one's gonna do it! Oh, the buffs to Zerath really Thank coming in clutch. Trying try and actually get there. No one in the side lane on D-plus's side. Uh -oh. And Canyon is just going to dive in on top of them. Oh my goodness, Deft is going to ult as well. Grizzly trying to get out of there, but now Kingin going to come forward. Kana gets rid of him. Zekka does find a decent ultimate, and now Deft is down to his GA. Life now looking for him here as this fight is not over yet. Still, Canyon going to get booped away with the headbutt. And D-plus, they lose Kana, and no one is dead on Harmal IV Sports' side. Def now trying to find an opportunity. The Pulverize is massive, but he's still going to go down. But this area is going to die as well. They take down one, but they're not going to find more. And Showmaker is the last damage dealer alive. Yeah, Showmaker, and then suddenly Def is going down to his GA. Zekka's on a flank, and Harmal IV Sports just picked them apart. All right, so that's Baron here. And, and like you say, Kingen is just kind of winning the game. Well, uh, D plus are too focused on this Elder. And there's no one to poke here if Hanwha just sit way back. And if they start the Elder, then Hanwha can engage and he can just teleport in. Kingen is just saying, checkmate. Well, we'll see what's going to happen. Who's more necessary, the Zerath or this Nah? As this could come down to another smite fight as now the Ember is going into the back line of Def. He's surviving for a long time, but it doesn't work out because Viper's there. He pulls back the feathers. Kana's not going to be able to do anything. And this will be Hummel IV Sports from the jaws of defeat, snatching away victory here in game number one. Unless there is some sort of massively heroic defense, but I just don't see it. I don't think they can do it. You know, they have the super minions coming in. Actually, not on this wave, will be later, but either way, there's enough members to defend. Showmaker can't step up. This should be it. It looks like oh, it is going to be it. And Hanwa just catching D plus unawares, winning one fight, and then they take the Baron. They set up the map perfectly. Look, I mean, look at the damage from Showmaker. Look at the gold graph. They win, winning most of this game, but Hanwa Life Esports really, they just personify the last fight is the only one that matters. Uh, the ability for Aphelios to be okay in fights and do massive damage here. But it does create a bit of an issue in terms of potential oh, side lane oh, threats. Oh, oh, and man. the Akali into the Silas. Not gonna, I'm not going to sugarcoat this one. I'm not a huge fan of this pick. I think it is very greedy. And there are a lot of ways to shut this down. And Silas not going to be too fussed about picking that ult up either. Again, a pick that he was so good on last game. There are some positives, but that mid lane is going to be fireworks. Excited for it. Let's jump out of the rift for game two. It's been a year of LCK now that he's played through, and he definitely looks hungry to go back to Worlds and potentially grab another title. But well, we'll see how he performs here on this second game, because the early game went very poorly for Hanwha Life. They made some clutch plays later on. Zekka will have the advantage here at level one. Because we felt like it was over-indexing into only one threat, only one carry. Um, and he's pretty good, as we can see. Yeah, as, he is uh, very good at Aphelios. Yeah, putting on the pressure, as you would in this lane. So not a whole lot that Grizzly could do in terms of surprising his opponents here. It seems pretty transparent what he is going to do. But well, doesn't mean it's any less strong. ...and staying competitive and keeping his health bar in an okay position. But he's going to have to try and dodge away from this one. There's the flash forward. Canyon still looking for more. The slow comes down, and Showmaker just picks up the kill. That's first blood. D-plus on the board. Clear objective even when it was in theory a 50-50 with the rail execute uh, was a lot more in favor. So here, once again, they reset, they get items for death, they push in this massive wave. No way Honor Life Esports can contest it. And with Herald in 45... Bio here, Grizzly is not safe to actually contest this crop as Canyon's coming over. There's a lot of the spell shield. He has to flash. Yeah, immediately does. Just flash away. Showmaker looking to come up. There's the crash down. The flash forward comes in from Kana. He goes all out to make sure the Grizzly's dead. And it is right as Shelly shows up. And you know, just before that play, I saw a red assist ping in the bot lane. And from the Grizzly has not been able to paranoia yet. This game has just been denied at every turn, and it's very difficult 
here without Zekka's help, so he's come down. Yeah, there's the flash forward. Paranoia comes through here. They're going to see whether they can take down Death, but he's got red white. It is so dangerous to fight him underneath this turret. They do get the perfect execution for the kill, but now Life and Grizzly are in such an awkward position. Canyon going to help Kellen lock down that kill, and they'll give it over to Showmaker for the second one. Yeah, Life sticking around here, actually, looking for an opportunity onto Showmaker, who will push forward. There's the Everfrost. Let's see whether he can keep himself alive. He gets the Unbreakable Will, and uh, he's going to take a lot of killing. Kingslayer also doing so much work, but they're able to tank up so well. Still, Dominion. he's got an... He's got a stopwatch, you so know, he's fine. One of the problems with going for that play is, is that your Alistair. Yeah, you're giving him the best defensive ult a Silas can get. Or trying to make something happen, but we'll get pushed away. But yeah, that bottom side play, just so bizarre. Zekka oh. in trouble now. Let's see whether he can actually grab this kill. The chain's oh. going to connect to Zekka. Just going to get ulted by his own R button and taken down solo kill for Showmaker. Man, his Silas has looked good in the last couple of days. So well played. Ninja Zekka as well, that player. Oh, Chief oh. coming in. I think life might be in trouble as the headbutt is beautiful. Flashes away as well, but there's a grab at him. Chain Lash is going to do it. Cool guys, don't look at explosions, but they'll look at this one as the outer turret goes down in mid. In the gold graph here, but you're now behind overall, and the Silas is just so incredibly fed that after he survives the attempt on his life, he can make plays like this. And we talked about the steal on the Akali. Everfrost reveals the reaction here with the chains is beautiful, uh -huh. and he finishes him off there. We've seen some Noctums feel like they're flying in solo, and the rest of the team is kind of just like, see you later. Uh, and the support isn't there. Oh. Showmaker. Yeah, Hepapov does come through here. Uh, Showmaker is yeah, just never really going to be in... Uh, yeah, life right. in his lesson. They, if I keep going, he will steal miles. And DK, yeah, they're grouped up. Yeah, they're ready for a fight, but they have no control of the rest of the map. As Canyon. Canyon going to get discovered, and Kingen, he might be the target. He flashes into the Baron Pit as Paranoia is going to try and deter them, but that is a huge tool now missing from any fight coming up. Voidseeker going to connect onto Showmaker, but he's not a great target. Now the Unbreakable Will is going to get snagged from Showmaker. The fight is going to come through. Decent Magnus Storm McKingen. He goes golden. Headbutt's going to come through here as I think they're just going to lose their front line. And they are. Humble Life Esports lose too. That should mean Baron for Deep Plus. All they have to do is wait out the Nara. They just kite back. They're like, we have damage. Oh, you're preparing. Oh, you can't click on anybody. Your Nara is down. Is there going to be any sort of answer, any sort of response? And it's Canyon that has the first word. Decides to Magnus Storm forward. Grizzly taking so much damage. Death, what the heck? He's doing so much. Grizzly has to break his stopwatch on the ground to try and stop him. And it is going to work out. He flashes away as well. Now the GA is done for Kingen, but it feels like too little too late because the whole of Harmel IV Sports' base is just rubble on the ground. And yes, D Plus ignored side lanes. Yes, they sort of bled gold around the map. But as it turns out, I guess it doesn't really matter if you just kill all of their stuff. I mean, Deft still has his stopwatch rune. And we've got Moonshots flying forward. Deft is just so big on this Aphelios. His life was looking for a flank angle. Now the Unbreakable Will comes through, but they're just staying together as five. Magnus Storm comes through. Grizzly dives into the back line. Zekka trying to find an opportunity, and Deft is looking to get out of the way of it. He should be able to do so as well. Wild Growth comes in. Now it's Showmaker taking matters into his own hands. Viper not going to do anything. There's the flash forward. Connects the chains. And Showmaker, he wants to go to Worlds, ladies and gentlemen. And he might be able to do it after a win in game number two. The minions are going to get the work done on this. these Nexus turrets. And the series will be evened out. Does feel like D Plus should be moving to match point now. Thankfully for Home Life Esports, they're able to take game number one. We'll have to see what this next best of three looks like. Doesn't matter. The gold difference here, this is one of those games that really showcases gold is not everything in League of Legends. What you do with the items you build and how you play around your AD carry is the true story of this game. I'd still like the Rel. Personally, I'm, I'm kind of okay with it. But no, it's going to be Neela. Neil is coming in. All right. Budget rel. Uh -huh. yeah, I guess it's, like, it's just another rel. And life can pick it up. Of course, Rel Kaiser has been a decent lane. Um, so that flexibility for D, plus, which is a bit of a gamble. But when the enemy team has so much dive, you kind of. It's ideal for a champion like Neela, who's so good at surviving against, who has that uh, ability to dodge autos. You get a good matchup for Kana as well into the Aatrox, and it means that even if the Neela isn't super far ahead, the Azir and the Renekton will be able to carry in the longer fight. We'll just have to see whether the momentum's going to be too much as we hop onto the Rift for Game 3. The situation here now for 
the bottom half of the map is going to be quite unique in that the Rel and Kai'Sa can obviously win against the Alistair early, but there's going to be experience advantage here for Death into a much better position here. And once the wave stacked up like that, I mean, it must have been just a slight error in the early, early game to really make things a problem. And speaking of problems, um, Showmaker is just very happily ordering his Sand Soldiers to destroy Zekka in the mid lane. Well, it's not a good start. <laughs> <laughs> the laning phase here is just absolutely a travesty across all three is obviously Kana is going to have the advantage against this early game Aatrox as well and so these lanes either. Yeah, I was I was going to say it's a great point. The fact that you have a Nocturne as well, you know, everyone's wanting a bailout. No one's going to get it. And Grizzly's trying to fight here. I don't know about this as Grizzly is just trying to keep his back away from the wall. But Showmaker's moving in first. There's the heroic charge. Splash out from Canyon and first blood to Showmaker again. And Ori behind on the play. Zekka didn't have Pryo. He just teleported back to lane. Showmaker should be able to get out. Wait. Oh, Zekka is going to flash for it. Tries to find the Orbit Deception, doesn't quite get there. The Charm is going to connect to Showmaker. He still has his flash available. Zekka not going to be out of flash to follow. Kana also in a whole host of trouble as Showmaker flashes to the wall and manages to get the soldiers over. But he's not out of the woods just yet. We will have another Foxfire. Zekka will have another opportunity at a skill shot as he looks for the Charm and doesn't get it. Huge grin on his face when he escapes. <laughs> Yeah, just barely um, getting away there as Crashdown comes through from live. Showmaker in a bit of trouble. Dustbringer going to connect. But uh, sometimes you have an E button and Sand Soldiers. You can see Zekka was trying to move through the minions to get the charm. And then just as Showmaker dashed to KMI, ends up hitting the minions. So nearly would have been able to get Grizzly and Rain, get some hits down. But Showmaker once again dodges away. Cool. Slice, dice, Dominus here for Kana doing a lot of damage to King. And he tries to find the Q, does get there as Grizzly turns up. Flash is available and not even used. Grizzly going to get them on the board. All right, Grizzly making some plays here. Top side trying to get the pick on the canyon was unsuccessful, but then is able to... Weak. This one happened. It's down here. Yeah, Pulverize does come through. Life going to have to crash away from this one as well. The flash forward from Deft. He's looking for it, and he'll get it. Now Viper trying to fight back as Deft is relatively low. But look at Kellen. The bodyguard, Cow is going to be easily able to stop Viper from getting a follow-up. Uh, essentially, on these next team fights, this next streak fight, it's pivotal. Is Kingen going to be okay? Is the question. There's the flash ever pulled from Kellen, and Kellen's saying absolutely not. He's not even going to flash. Doesn't want to waste it because he knew he was very dead. And Kana gets a little bit of help towards the top side. Just really good angle found, and Kellen, who's been so good on this Alistair yesterday up oh, against yeah. the Rex. If you are in range of it, as Kellen just having fun with his Hex Flash. And here's the Flash Magnus Storm. Life finds one with it. It's Kingen. Gets into the backline. Empress Divide is fantastic. The Infernal Chains come in. But the Pulverize from Kellen Grizzly going down so low, but he'll be able to take the Azir with him. They're looking for more Kingen. He is gigantic and Def will be taken down. This is the World Championship MVP Kingen coming for you in this game three. And he'll look for even more. The Infernal oh, Chains log it down and he still lives. And the Aatrox just unchecked in that fight. You can see, you know, Showmaker gets a good ult off, trying to peel. Can't help pick with Viper, but if you get to be the first ones on the play, I think the advantage is really huge. Is Kana in yeah. trouble? He's going to get ulted. Does Dominus make sure that he can get that one out, but it's not going to save him. That's going to be a very comfortable kill for Hummel Life Esports underneath the turret in the bottom lane. They have the split right now. King looking for that flank, flank angle as the Dominus does come through. Life looking to get in there as they do break away. And now Emperor's Divide. Oh, it's going to break off Zekka. But can they actually find more is the question. Def flashes the wall. They managed to pick up two, but the Neela will still go down. Kana deals with Viper, though. And I don't know whether King is going to be able to do the same heroics this time around. They take down Def, but they lose Soul Point and so much more. And just the Ori. Look at Kel and pushing them out. Meanwhile, yeah, in the meantime, Canyon is just going to kill a Rel. Uh, King in's here, but Showmaker is going to come through as well. The Baron's going to get upset at the Shut Aatrox. Down. This might actually be Baron time, but no, the Flash going to come out. King in will keep himself alive. I think we really need to give D-plus credit for because it's something that they haven't been able to do. As I say that, um, it is going to be a bit of an engage on the Canyon. Not going to get stunned up here, and he's pretty tanky. Looks for a potential angle, but doesn't quite find the ultimate. Magnus Storm comes in as well, and now they're down there. Poppy Showmaker trying to get the autos in. Grizzly is so incredibly low, but Kingen grabs two cannons. Kind of big, but it's not going to be big enough. Charm. As the Charm connects, he shifts the sands. He gets himself out, but now it's just Showmaker left alive. King and Zekka and Viper, they might be able to just do Baron. 11 to 11 is the kill score. It feels very, very close. The Drakes versus the Gold, I guess you could say. There is a Flash Pulverize. 
the Zekka is just going to be able to get himself out. They get a Paranoia for it. Unbreakable Will going to be there for Ke uh, Kellen to keep himself alive. And now the lights come back on again. D-plus are grouped up. They are in position, but the Keeper's Verdict doesn't get a lot of value. Aatrox. And they are spotting this Aatrox on the flank angle. Yeah, Megacone does bring Canyon in. I don't know whether that's exactly where he wants to go, but he breaks the chains and now looks for a stun. Does get it onto King in here, who doesn't quite have the shield available. Canyon, Canyon is incredibly low. It looks like this Baron will just go over to Hummel Life Esports. Are they going to win the fight as well as the question is death? Has the Apotheosis so much damage as ever? Everyone goes golden, everyone's down to a GA, and Showmaker's the one doing it! The GA's gonna be popped from death, but he'll come back alive! And they lose the Baron, but they win the fight. And I wanted to give him so much credit! I wanted to give him so much credit! Look at how slow they played it! Look at how they kited it back to the Baron! Look at how they set up for this, and yet, they do chase, oh. and yet they do go in! Well, Viper looks for an angle. Canyon has his friends, though, as King, and also on that flank. D-plus wanting to get here towards this dragon. Showmaker moves in and put up these sand soldiers. Okay, let's see. Kellen is going to move on over. Kingen gets himself back, and now Harmalife Esports wants to deny this soul. They're not going to be able to do so, but can they find a fight here as Kanna? He goes golden, breaks that stopwatch. Kingen in the back of the pit, diving forward is Zekka, but takes a lot of damage for it. And now Showmaker just dives onto him. And that is so much of their damage down. Viper gonna have to flash away because he was sharing the Akathian Reign with so many D-plus members. He's unable to get the kill. And now it's Canyon, steadfast presence in hand, looking for the opportunity. Magnus Storm from life used defensively as Zekka takes down the kill. Now it's Grizzly's turn to dive on in, but going in one by one is not how you win this. And the Nocturne will be taken out. Death gets so much help back as well. And these champs are actually getting value out of the Kimtech soul in this moment as oh, well. So man. Helks, oh, take it, it away, buddy. <laughs> you <laughs> did it. These fights, the, the subjectives rather, we've all seen them make the opposite choice oh, Grizzly. Yeah, Grizzly gonna have to flash here, but there's the flash heroic charge from Canyon, slows him down. There's the knock up, and Showmaker grabs the jungler with 50 seconds until the Baron. This inhibitor, but D plus should be able to get this Baron. Well, Kellen is gonna move on in, see what he can do to try and deal with King, and he's going to headbutt Paul and find him. Death diving forward as well, and Kingen is just dead. Down to the GA, but I don't know whether he's going to last much longer. And this is another pick. This one, I think, means a whole lot more. I think we'll guarantee at least a Baron. They might even be able to find the yeah. game. Showmaker, nigh unkillable, and has that insane self-peel. You're dealing with a Poppy here as well. Yeah, the Keeper's Verdict is going to be so incredibly important. Thankfully, there are Banshee's Veils, there are Edges of Night, but this dragon is going down extraordinarily quickly. Kellen, Kellen. getting himself into the pit. There's the Hex Flash being charged. The Paranoia comes in. They're just... The old, oh, massive Magnus Storm from life in the back line. Empress Divide is also huge. The Apotheosis! It destroys them. It's Wombo versus Wombo. And D-plus have found it. The dragon getting in there as well. The Akathian Reign will take down the Crocodile, but somehow everyone else on D-plus survives. King and no flash, but All he's right. on the edge. Make an elder. A huge, huge shield from that Shifting Sands. And these Void Seekers are scary, but Grizzly, he's running for the hills. And I think this is almost the end of the game. And look at the damage Death did there. 6.5k motion his team. The composition. Whoa. 4D plus comes together. Everyone dives in. Death says thank you very much. And he does the reverse Wombo Combo. And with the Elder in pocket, they can just push. And it was a great engage from life. No one will deny him that, but it's not enough here. There's not enough follow-up damage, and Viper's poke is huge. But unfortunately, D-plus had everything they wanted. And once again, D-plus turn on the fight. They have won every critical fight in this game defensively. And Hanwha Life, they had no choice but to opt into it. The Elder was taking down. They had to look for something, but they're going to come up empty. And it looks like D-plus should be able to push themselves to match point. Yep, six items on death now. As it the wave stack. It they won the end now. Yeah. They're going to look for it, and Keeper's Verdict is going to be a little bit of a short one because there's a fountain there. They're going to annihilate these turrets, though. And look at all of them just diving on top of King, and the Nexus erupts, and match point goes to D plus Kia. They are one game away. You know what? Similar to game one, it really doesn't matter until the last fight. And that's that's the important thing. You win that last, that last fight, you win the game, and I feel like this is kind of revenge for that game one. D-plus tinning around under Hunter Life Esports. D-plus wanted to put priority on Showmaker. They wanted to make sure he had 
everything in front of him before he picked, and he's toying oh. with a lot of options. I mean, the Zerath is good here. The Zoe, I think, is fine. Oh, the game for Cassidy? I actually like the Zoe here a lot. Yeah, me too. Because it, you have such a great front line, it's really difficult to threaten her, and then you just basically set up picks onto the Viego. Oh, cocky. 100%. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. This could be the final game of the series. We're on the rip for game number four. Maybe he can get a title on Korean soil here in Worlds, but he will have to win these next two games. And who knows if he'll be playing in this region next year. Yeah. It's crazy uh, to think. It's a scary thought. Don't want to lose him again. You know. And now Hannah's going to get a little bit annoyed about it. Does head over towards him, but isn't actually going to find too much. Level 6 is gained. It's, here we go. Flash up up hold does come down. There's the gravitum as Canyon will show up. Viper's in so much trouble, and he will be taken. Oh, does have the heal. But now we're alcove gaming. I don't know whether it's going to work out. Here is Deft taking a lot. Has to flash over. Viper almost manages to stand his ground, and it does not work out. Still Grizzly able to get the answer and kill. Great little sidestep from Kellen, but I don't think it's going to save him. He does pulverize, but that's not going to be enough. And Grizzly gets the double. Viper, though, playing that so well. Yes, he goes down, but by so much time, Chong stepped out, and this is a prime scenario for Viego. Doesn't actually need the resets to get the kill. Yeah, and it pretty does. aggressive headbutt does come through as now Canyon looking for the Magnus Storm, finds it onto Viper. He has no summoner spells left available, and Deft going to be able to lock that one down. Canyon tanking the turret for just long enough. They're moving away from Grizzly, though. He's once again making his way in. I just don't think he's going to be able to get here in time. It's a great double knockup. But the interruption! Oh my god, Kellen, you monster! He's able to deny it. It is going to mean a one for one in the end, but that could have been way worse. Definitely yeah. do favor this for HLE, and they are significantly ahead in gold here, about 1300. Some of this will be shored up by the Herald. Assuming yeah. it crashes. They're looking for it. Magnus Storm is fantastic as Death trying to keep himself alive. Moonlight Vigil comes in. Another interruption from Kellen. And now he's going to try and walk it off. This time he's got the unbreakable will, so he'll be fine. What did he have for breakfast? And this guy's a god! And before the series... The oh. next dragon in itself, but, you know, Deepa's doing a decent job of... Oh. Well, there's a Flash Magnus Storm. Viper is going to be able to get himself out of the way of at least that, but there's oh. the Pulverize. He's not able to hold out of it, and the headbutt's just gorgeous. Oh, man, I wish we had POGs, because I would give 11 of them to Kellen. I'm giving it to Kellen. <laughs> I mean, even though he itemized it to the Hex Drinker, he's got a completing call. Uh, well, uh, and uh, watch Kellen on this play uh, here. Uh, Big uh, headbutt uh, uh, here. Uh, uh, and uh, then uh, another uh, pull uh, to allow his teammates to get away. He's got ult and flash, and there's no way he's going down either. And you know, Alistair's ability to engage is solid, but when you have to use your WQ in tandem, you're getting like the value of this one ability. But I mean, that's so good as well. But you're getting the value of like, you know, because the 80 ratio of your ult goes up with each one. So he's happy to just farm oh, up. There's a headbutt pull from Kellen. He knows that the rest of them are turning up though. Showmaker, he just Valkyries out of the way. There is so much damage from this Corky. They take down the turret though, and they should be able to get out alive. Sundisk will be put up. Nicely played. It's insane. It's the percentages that are going to add up. Teleport here committed mid. This fight is so important here for the side of D+. Showmaker also has TP. He's grabbing oh, package. This, this Rift Herald ain't doing anything. It's just going to have its eye poked. And like you say, package going to come in. Showmaker teleports forward. And I just think that Harm Alive have no option but to give this one up. These big ones. Look at Showmaker. Here he's... He's teaching uh, Viper's champion what it was like in the good old days. Yeah. You know, he's like, yeah, this is what real poke is like, my son. And, and they're going to take down this Drake with barely any contest, I believe. Grizzly's on the flank here, but they just don't have the position to look for a pick. Kingen also trying to find an angle. Oh, this is so dangerous. Kingen has already altered, but he's on vision. Kana can always just get rid of this Crocodile if he does try to come in. Grizzly looking for the secure. He's against Sorel, though. It's going to be very difficult. We'll see what he can do. Not going to happen. Great pulverize once again. Is into the back line. Goes the Rakan, but he's going to get knocked up. Kana trying to get himself out of there. He gets a big old shield, and in goes Zeka. Everyone goes out, though. He finds nothing, oh. and the Rockets are hitting for a billion damage each. Deft is going to grab a double. Kingen is slicing and dicing, and finding the air is D+. Plus. They'll back away. And so often, you see Corky's Valkyrie in at the wrong time with the package. They end up dying immediately, maybe have a bit of impact, but that was such a good read from Showmaker. And that means that, once again, we have a package fight. This one's for Soul Point. Teleport in from Humble Life. Zeka will get here, but stealing it 
very difficult. Starting a fight, very difficult. We'll see what they can make happen here. The crown's still up and available for Zeka. We need to hit a few of these rockets, Showmaker. If you want to get this one started on the right foot, the Sand Soldier's doing a fair bit of work. All of these rockets have been dodged thus far. Every single one of them, in fact. Like Zeka's crown yeah, still this up. Is kind it's of crazy. Of and the Drake is just going to go to Hama Life Esports. That was just a bit of a flub. Yeah. I mean, Are we going to hit any of them? Okay, Magnus Storm goes in from Canyon. They're starting to look for it as Viper dives his way out. Life trying to stay alive. The health bars are very low. Deft is free hitting, but I don't know whether it's quite going to work. Showmaker now finds himself on the wrong side of the fight, and I think they're going to go one for one in this one, but the Drake still goes to Hanwha. And it just kind of feels like a desperate engage, right? We lost the Drake. We didn't get the poke down. We have package anyway. Let's try and make it happen. And Whether it's actually going to work out this time around. Hama with control of the Drake. D plus wanting to index into this Baron. Grizzly going to be moving on over, but now he's out of position. Just caught. And that is the all out from Canon. There is now no jungler. That should mean Soul Point and Baron for D plus. What a beautiful trap, but so sad for Grizzly. Uh, so sad for Grizzly. It was he who was picked last game right before the Baron to enter and to go into the dragon fight that won the game for D plus. We'll see if it happens again here as they're pushed away. Oh, no. Soul Point going over. Just barely not able to get towards this dragon in time as well as Canyon. We'll just come on over and steal it away. There it goes. They hit for a lot, these yeah. rockets, uh, as it turns out. When you have this much setup here, it's really easy to just poke and siege. Put the Cassante in mid, and Canyon looking for an engage. There's the Flash Magnus, don't find two, and immediately Grizzly just goes down again. Life going to join him. Zeka in trouble. He's going to get stunned up. The rockets can hit a stun target pretty comfortably as Showmaker tries to chase after them. But now they might even continue pushing. Kingen was looking for a flank, but who is he flanking? Why is That's he flanking? End. There is no one left available. And Viper just taking subsequent damage. Red, white now for Def. He's putting down these turrets. In goes Viper to try and go for one last ditch effort. The more comes in for Def and he stays alive. But his eyes are set on Worlds. They're set on the Nexus and he's going to take it down. Welcome back to the World Championship depth for another final dance if you want one. To sub in, it can be rough. And I think Grizzly had a great debut, which really rose our expectations. He obviously did struggle in this series, but still, hopefully with more time, we'll see him more. Thank you guys. This is Deer for the winner's interview translation. We are here joined by the players on the side of D-Plus Kia, who just secured the last ticket to Worlds as LCK's fourth seed. Congratulations. Kana, you are back in Worlds after two years. How do you feel? To be honest, I used to ask myself, can I even make it back? But I was able to meet such great teammates and was able to come back here. I think I'm just so grateful for my teammates. And your matchup against Kingen was the main highlight for many fans today. So what was the key to the top matchup today? When I watched uh, HLE versus KT, I felt like the top lane was more of like a a weak side um, as compared to bot. But I feel like they prepared a strong top lane today um, and tried to pick something that's good for a side lane. So uh, it kind of made the match a little difficult for me. So what are your goals at Worlds? Except for the last game, I feel like I didn't really do my part. My teammates just played really well for me, so that's why we won. Now that we have another opportunity for Worlds, I hope that we come back even stronger.
Canyon, with D plus Kia's victory, you guys hit another amazing milestone. This is the first LCK team to qualify for Worlds five times in a row. And you must be so proud of your team. So, how do you feel? Yes, this will be the fifth time in a row, and I really wanted to go to Worlds since it's in Korea. I'm really happy that we made it. Game 1 had five jungle bands. So, what was the key point of the polar bear versus grizzly bear matchup? So Johnny and Maokai has a lot of a uh, high win rate. So uh, given that we ban those two picks, uh, and considering that I have a wide champion pool, I feel like those bans were actually essential when it came to drafts today. So yes, as you mentioned, Worlds will be held in Korea this year. Is there a jungler that you'd like to meet? Since everyone who comes to Worlds is a great player, so I feel like no matter who I am up against, I hope we have a fun and great game. And what, was, what would be your goal at Worlds? My goal is always to win the championship. And in the process of getting there, I hope that we get to build a perfect synergy within the team. And Showmaker, this is your fifth consecutive world appearance, so how do you feel? Five times in a row at a big stage. I feel so lucky. I feel like I did pretty well. I'm very happy. The entire series was full of excitement, but game two with Showmaker Silas and the Kali skills matchup kept everyone on their toes. So, how was the matchup for you? Zaka is so good at uh, laning. And since he owns the skin for Akali, I feel like he's really experienced uh, with Akali himself from last year's Worlds as well. And it was definitely not an easy matchup for me during the laning phase, but I'm really happy that I was able to overcome that pressure. Even if it's your fifth world in a row, this is your first world in Korea, so is there anything you're excited about? Personally, I felt so weak uh, in international stages. And I feel like now that Worlds will be in Korea, I feel like it'll be really easy and good to maintain a good condition, so I'll make sure that we win the championship. And Depth, with today's victory, it'll be your 8th Worlds, breaking the record for most appearance at Worlds. How do you feel? I didn't know that that was a new record for most appearance. But now that you tell me that, I'm very happy to hear that. I don't think I've played very well in game one. Uh, and the way we lost, I felt really bad for the team. And I, I felt very sorry, but we were able to overcome that. And my teammates did so well, and we were able to secure today's victory. I'm really glad. We wouldn't expect less from depth of qualifiers. All of HLE's players have experience at Worlds, and you won the championship with some of them. So what was your main focus for today's match? I feel like I didn't really pay attention about anything to focus on mainly, but I felt like I tried my best to not be too emotional today. Any AD carry you want to meet? Gala actually said that he wants to eat with me. So I hope my team allows me to 
you know, eat something with Gala in the future. Is there any message for your team as the eldest Hyung of the team? Oh, your, your Hyung is actually, your older brother is actually here at Low Park. Any message to him? Uh, I didn't know that was my older brother. <laughs> Um, thank, thank you. Now a message for your team. Yeah, like it would have been nice if we did well from the beginning and we're able to advance and qualify for worlds early. But I'm really happy that we're able to showcase what we have at worlds. Let's do. Let's do this, guys. Kellen, you have put in so much effort this season, and this is your second world in a row. How do you feel? I feel like in my professional career, I haven't really been a part of big stages, but I'm, I'd like to do well on a big stage now that I have the opportunity. With many people uncertain about today's match score, did you expect it to be a 3-1 today? I thought it was going to be pretty neck to neck with like a 3-2, but my team had such a strong performance today. And Kellen, your Alistair was incredible today, your, the way you saved your teammates and the wonderful headbutts. So are you satisfied with today's performance? Uh, I was trying to look at some bots for other players and Delight happened to be a really good Alistair player and a lot of my teammates told me, hey, you should probably try watching Delight's performance, he's really good. So I think that's how I ended up learning a lot from Delight's bots playing Alistair. So Showmaker, any message to Kellen? Uh, you know, I, I feel like Canyon was the one who said that more. Enough said. Canyon, any words for Kellen? Oh, is it my turn to speak? You were delight today. What an incredible praise. Kellen, you are showing such a strong growth as a player. When can we expect from you and Death that world? This could have been our last match today, but we're able to wrap it up in a positive way. And we'll make sure that we're ready for Worlds and, and we hope to display strong performance there. And Showmaker, as the team captain, would you like to send a message to the fans? Um, Please share your resolution for Worlds to your fans. <laughs> You know, this season wasn't a smooth sailing, but you know, back then when we were in a rough spot, we said, you know, maybe at the very end of the day we'll be the ones smiling and laughing about it. Um, and Death actually promised me that he will be the one saving me. And so we want to keep it up and make sure that we don't give up and keep on showing you a good performance. <laughs> so, if you win the championship, can we ask you to sing a song for us? Yes, okay, when we get there, we'll see. And this will be the end of the interview with the players of Deep Plus Kia, and back to the space.